Good morning, gang. How are you today? That wind's a whipping. So I'm over here for just two minutes. I'm going to do a really quick equipment uh, roll call for some of the new girls that are here. Um, maybe a reminder for, you know, the old gals and guys. I mean that you've been around for a while, not that you're old. So we're going to do a back day and I'm going to use my bench um, and you're going to use what you have uh, and you can just use the mat and a floor and I will give you cues and guidance about that. But moving forward, this is some of the usual equipment we use. Um, instead of a adjustable weight bench, which I would suggest you get, and I'll mention that, you know, try and track one down and start um, thinking ahead because you're going to be home training for a while and a bench and the dumbbells, bottom line basics. But we have the step bench, right? And you can use a step bench, which is awesome. I would just really like it if you could make it adjustable. But in a pinch, flat, is fine. I also use, often I'll use um, a step ladder to, uh, for support on our single leg work. Um, if you had to, you could put a towel here and use it as support for your rows or any bent over work if you were um, compromised. Uh, we could also use a step. I don't love these steps because they're not deep enough, but again, in a pinch, you can make it work. All right? Back here, I also have this, um, mm, I think it's a blanket box, but uh, you could have a solid piece of furniture that you could use for um, support um, as a seat. You could bring a chair down, okay? Um, we also could use, I don't use the ball often, but if you have it, I could give you um, um, adaptations for some of the exercises using the ball. We use bands, definitely. So these are the big, stronger loops, all right? And you can attach them and use them. These are the smaller um, uh, exercise bands. I often use these ones when I'm not feeling as strong. Some days you just don't feel strong. That's how there's to it. Uh, I also have, I don't have a single, but that we also have these bands with the um, handles on them. All of these things are going to be useful, all right? Last couple of things, and we're not using them today, but the glute loop, we use quite a bit, and that is a more solid, heavy-duty leg, but you can go to these exercise loops, which are lighter. Uh, they don't, they tend to... Uh, not stay in place, but what are you going to do, okay? Um, sometimes we use a slide or a glider um, or just a piece of cloth, right? And the last thing I want, oh, every once in a while we use a skipping rope and it's optional. I, 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 I give options for skipping rope. I give low impact options. I give options on top of options. <laughs> hey, let's start our workout. We're going to use the bands today. It's a back workout. I'm over here. I've just got to flip this around a little bit. Hang on. So here we are set up. I've got my um, adjustable bench set up for us. So there we go. All right. Ready to go, Don? You're all warmed up. Uh, double dumbbell row and rear delt fly. Um, it's a high repetition set. That means we're going to do a lot of endurance work here. So I would choose moderate, moderate weights and the same with the rear delt flies. 12 rep sets is kind of, it's kind of aerobics. <laughs> so here we go with, uh, I'm gonna grab 15s and maybe eights for my flies. Um, you can adjust as we go along, right? Seeing how you feel after the weekend. There we go. Uh, should be warmed up. If you're not, just take a minute to stretch out. Good. And here we go. So at your own pace, tall torso, break at the hip, grab those weights, and you're going to pull 
with your back muscles. It's not your arms working, okay? Um, Superset means we go directly into the next exercise. You go bang, bang, and then you rest. So rear delt fly, same thing, exaggerated posture, Break the hip forward and round out those arms. You're not um, driving it up there and snapping. You're controlling. And 12. Beautiful. So 12 and 12. Watch your back. If you have instability in your low back. Uh, you could have a chair, you could have a bench, you could have a stool to just place your head on and do your supported bent over um, rows and flies, okay? No harm in that. Um, protecting your low back while you're trying to get a really good pump in your upper back. Um, we will be doing lots of back strengthening exercises, um, controlled, so slowly over the next weeks and months. All this work is integrated, okay? And we, we target every part of your body okay? um, over the course of weeks. So just take your time and um, modify your reps Modify your sets. If it seems like it's too much, take a rest. And double. Dumbbell row for 12. Twelve. And then right into my flies. I'm going to do one set supported by my forehead, and then I'm going to show you another set that you could actually do this uh, supporting your low back by sitting and bending over, okay? So wh what I'm trying to say is no matter what your limitation, no matter what your weakness, or if you have, happen to have a, an acute or chronic condition, we can work around it. You know, we, we show up for our workouts and we work around problems until they become strengths, okay? So here I will be doing um, my double dumbbell row supported by my forehead. I still want that exaggerated posture, break forward, and I still want to work hard, squeezing my upper back muscles. And 12, nice, right into the fly, because it's a superset, two exercises back to back is a superset. is that all our workouts aren't going to look the same. All our exercises aren't going to look the same. Each of us are going to be out there modifying and doing the best we can to achieve what the board says, but working around weaknesses. All right, and that might mean you'll do three sets while we're doing four. That might be enough. You're never really going to know until the next day like how deconditioned you are 
just understand that you're moving into an exercise program that's quite targeted. We work back and arms hard and we wait a whole week to do them again so they're fully recovered, all right? So it's an intense way to start working out so that's why you have to use your head. Usually in that uplift program that I was gonna put you in, we start with a full body and do that over and over for eight weeks until our body and brain becomes conditioned. But um, yes. Uh, so this would be your fourth set, everybody that's doing this along with me, um, standing, doing your double dumbbell row. This would be another modification for unstable, unstable low back. You could bend forward here and just row, okay? My upper torso is resting on my uh, lap and it's supporting the movement, but I really still do have to think about squeezing my shoulder blades together which causes the weights to lift, okay? I'm not lifting weights. I'm engaging muscles. Same thing with the rear delt fly. You can stay in this position seated. Tall cartoon character and bend forward and complete your flies. Rear delt fly is upper back, shoulders. Ooh, and that's quite enough. So four sets, 12 reps, high volume, everything's warm, blood is moving, and we can move on to our next exercise. It's a conventional deadlift. It's gonna use your whole posterior chain. It's gonna use hamstrings, glutes, low back, uh, mid back, upper back, and traps, all right? So conventional deadlift, if you can imagine um, lifting a heavy object off the floor, and standing up, that is what um, <clears throat> a deadlift is, conventional. There are stiff leg deadlifts and you will be doing that on leg day. But I use a conventional deadlift on a back day because it hits everything, all right? <coughs> Heart rates are gonna go up too, 10 reps, let's go. So I'm picking something up off the floor and I'm standing up tall. Bicep curls, okay, 10 reps. And 10, all the way up, all the way down, okay? This is not migrating backwards to lift it up, all right? It is stationary, um, arm hanging from the shoulder, and up down from there, okay? Sometimes I run out of breath and I can't talk anymore. So then I have to take a rest. Uh, take your rest when you need it. This is uh, 10, uh, 10 reps again, and we're doing this superset four times. You might be doing it three times. You might be doing it twice. Don't be a hero. Um, I, call, I call it the recognizance mission. You gotta go out and see how you feel. You gotta see how you recover. And then, you know, over this next few weeks, you're gonna understand how far you can go, when you gotta back off, when you're having a high, hard, hard strong day, and when you're having a, a weak or more lethargic day. Um, you gotta take them all into consideration. It's all good. Conventional deadlift. Job, right into your bicep curls. And 
10. Nice? Feel good? Um, flip your weights around if, you're, if, if it's not challenging enough. Head for he heavier weights if you, um, if it's too much, go lighter. If you don't have a variety yet, just use what you have and go through the motions, okay? You are doing a lot by training your brain into the movement. You're doing a lot by showing up and starting to create the habit of putting this time aside. You will be able to eventually stock up on your weights and by that time, you'll know how to use them and when to use them too. So, no excuses, okay you guys? We got this. If you're not using any weights, I'm gonna do one set without. I'm just going to imagine. Oh, everything's cracking this morning. fairly moderate weight so I can kind of um, up tempo through that. If I was using heavier weights it would take me longer. I would have more cardiovascular work going on. Um, but this is how I feel today so I'm honoring that, okay? Or you could go 
um, straight arm and squeeze that back. Now the next one calls for a um, band tricep. You're welcome to use dumbbells for your tricep kickbacks. I'm just going to show you with a band that you could pop those be be uh, between um, under your feet, grasp up here. So now I'm not going to move anything but my elbows backwards. My upper arm stays parallel to the floor. There's eight pull downs, which could be behind your neck. Then we're going to go right into eight. Band pull apart. Call them face pulls sometimes. That resistance is directly across from your face. So face pull. There's eight. And then my triceps, I'll show you one at a time this time. Uh, this is called, you guys, is a tricep. We do three exercises through and then rest. And you don't need as much of a rest with a tricep because usually you're going back to a different exercise. There's eight on one side. I can show you the other side. I'm going to step on that. Grasp it. Lock my arm up parallel to the floor, and I just want to move at the shoulder, jo um, elbow joint, elbow joint only. And eight. Good. So we've got our last set. Uh, band pull down. Um, what else can I say about that? I think that's it. You can stand for these, you could sit for these, you could um, kneel. Um, if you're sitting and you choose to, you could hook your foot into something and pull down in a slight uh, backwards lean, and that's going to hit that muscle from a different angle. And eight, and then right into our face pull or band pull apart. Upper back again, it's just slightly lower than uh, the traps there. Good, and then finally, um, band tricep extension. I'm just going to show you with dumbbells. All right. I'm going to walk those upper arms in place, kick back from my elbow, acknowledge the squeeze at the back of my arm, the tricep muscle, and eight. Very nice. So we have a single arm dumbbell row. Single arm dumbbell row, you're supported on a bench, on a chair, uh, maybe by one hand on a bench. You could, if you don't have a bench or a stool, you could go right here, unsupported, but you really are kind of supported, right? It's not a heck of a lot. Uh, this would be uh, a real nice way because it's eight reps set, meaning heavier. Heavier weights, you guys. Um, lighter ones for the uh, Ws, 
or no weight at all, okay? So, so I'm up tall, cartoon character posture, I break at the hip, and I lengthen my, I tor my torso load, okay? I'm not all scrunched up here. I'm lengthened, my opposite arm is supporting, and I point with my back. And eight, eight and eight, and then we're moving on to the other side, or to the W's. Here you go. Shoulders, hips square, and really feel upper back. Eight. All right, so your W, it's just the formation of your arms. That felt a little funny on my shoulders. So I'm gonna go without weight for this first one. You might have real light weights to go. And the W looks like that. And at the top of that movement, you're squeezing upper back, shoulders, oh, that's not so bad. Three. See, I bring it down and back in. You could, if you had great shoulders, rotate it down and bring it back up and in. Two more of these and then just bicep, triceps. We got this. We got this gang. Monday, December 28th. Crazy. Crazy. All right, cartoon character. My butt is jutting out. My back is uh, solid straight. Uh, my shoulders, my chest is elevated. And I'm pulling with my upper back. that I was kind of dropping that a little bit. You want to control up, you want to control down, okay? Um, just go at a regular pace, you know, a count up, no rest, and a count down. We'll move into tempo at another time, which might mean we go one, two, up, one, two, down. But for right now, just go for a nice, easy pace where you could feel that muscle in your back contract and lengthen. You really want to make that connection before anything else. And then all, all of your workouts will be, even if you're using light weights on days that you're not um, totally energetic, if you've got that connection, let's go for the W's. I can use no weights at all and really hammer those muscles. And eight. Nice. One more set, right? I'm pretty sure. Eight, single arm, dumbbell row. And then right into the W raise. All righty. Tall posture. So tall, 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 chest up and out. We got ribs opened up to the ceiling. And then I break at my hip and drive them backwards. So I've got that posture. I'm not coming down into my movement in a hunched position. All right. And eight. Nice. Finish up with the W's. Again, uh, the W's could be rotated upwards, and then when you hit that spot, you 
contract the muscles and think, or like I do lately, just because of a little mm, twinge in my shoulder, I um, bring it down and in, and then I take it back up and then find that squeeze, and then I enter and exit differently, just for now. I'm always fooling around with that rotation just to see my progress, but I don't want to push it, right? I, don't, I, I, I push it and hurt myself further. It's going to take longer. I'm gonna, it's just not a good thing to push through. You got to go for therapy. You got to do your home therapy. You got a problem, you got to take care of it immediately. I don't care how little, how small it seems. If it seems like a small knot, go straight upstairs after your workout. <laughs> straight upstairs, that's where I go. Straight onto your um, foam roller and get right on that little bugger. Uh, have a tennis ball or a tennis ball or a golf ball ready to get those little areas that are really hard to get. Yes. That's the name of the game. That's the secret. Stay on top. Good. That's it for me. My shoulder's saying no more. So we're finishing up with hammer curl. Hammer curl simply means that it's um, in an up, up, down position as opposed to supine. All right. Hammer. Candlestick. They also call it candlestick. So let's go ahead with eight. Oh, for goodness sakes, I can do more than that. And then we'll go for tricep dips. I'll show you. You guys just go ahead. We've only got three sets of eight reps. Eight and eight dips. Eight dips shouldn't be so bad if you're good um, and stable. All right. Elbows point backwards. One. Eight. 
very nice. And we've got one more set. I was going to have a sip of my coffee, but I'm going to wait. Delayed gratification. Let's go. These were supposed to be hammer curls, and I didn't do hammer curls last time. So, thumbs up. And looky there, we're done. Now, I expect if you're having any trouble, you have any discomfort, you have any questions, that you text me or that you um, message me. And because uh, this is what this is for, we're, we're getting you through the humps, all right? The, the difficulties, the perceived challenges of weight training. And I'm trying to get you beyond the, I gotta starve myself in diet, and I gotta cardio my ass off for hours to lose weight. We're shaping and we're building a lean physique. That's it. Cheers, you guys. I will talk to you tomorrow when we have cardio. We're gonna do Tabata because I thought that would be kind of easy to explain. And again, for the new people, I've got all the modifications for you. It's a really fun workout. You'll enjoy it. And you can make it yours. You can go hard. You can go easy. You can sit around and have coffee and watch us. <laughs> Anyways, have a wonderful day, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for coming. Hey, Deb, you're here. Good.